I have no idea what this is going to be, whether it be a channel update or a vlog or a mini vlog or something along those lines, I just needed to get some information out there real quick. The reason so many videos have not been being made is because I'm in school right now, I have a lot going on between my new my new job at Staples, which is a certified technician, and then college. Coming close to the end of the semester and school's going to be out in about four to five weeks. Right now, I'm headed out to pick up Desi and Steven, and then I'm going to meet Michael, Victoria, and Robbie at Holiday Skate Center. But anyways, yeah, I just wanted to say the reason so many videos have not been coming out is because I've been really busy with school and everything else. Another thing going on is that the A6000 that I had, I accidentally broke the 16 to 50 millimeter lens, which was, uh, it's basically like an auto retraction me mechanism for the lens. It's a pancake lens. It's the kit lens. I was petting the puppy, Layla, my, my baby Labrador. She kicked the lens in while it was on, breaking the retract retraction mechanism. So now I'm down a kit lens, and that was really my only autofocus lens that worked properly with my, with my E-mount A6000. I need to either get a new lens, which I've been meaning for a long time to move over to one of the, the G-series or uh, a Carl Zeiss lens. Uh, something prime, something that has a lot of light let in, or a wide angle, or this or that. But if you go and you look at the prices, it's like buying a whole new camera. It's like a thousand bucks, a thousand bucks a lens, regardless of whether or not what, what kind you want. So I decided I wanted to look into other cameras. Well, I heard about this one camera a long time ago, but I never really looked into it. Um, called the RX100, RX100, the Mark IV and Mark V. The Mark IV and Mark V. I am amazed by their uh, one inch sensors, point and shoots, but they do everything that the A6000 does and more. From 4K at 100 megabits a second to 120 FPS at 100 megabits a second, and an HFR mode, which is basically 100 megabits per second, but the bit rate kind of drops as the more frame rates you go on, which is 240 FPS, 480 FPS, and 960 FPS. I want to eventually move to this camera because it can do everything that I need it to do all in one with the Carl Zeiss lens, which is uh, 24, 24 to 70, so it essentially acts like it's a wide angle and a telephoto depending on what I need in the scenario at all given times. And there's a gimbal that's pretty much basically completely built for that camera, the RX100 Mark V. And it's called the the Crane M, which is about only 350 to 400 if you want to pick it up online. And my my heavy duty heavy duty gimbal that I needed for the A6000 or anybody's Canons was about 400 altogether. So my idea is is that instead of buying a new lens and upgrading upgrading to the Carl Zeiss lens or this or that. I don't have, I have money, but I don't have like a $3,000 kit for filmmaking in budget right now, especially when it's not my profession. So I figure I'm going to head over, look at the RX100 Mark V and get me a Crane M, sell the A6000, everything that I have for it and everything that I have for the gimbal and make everything extremely practical. The gimbal will always be on me. I don't need to carry around other lenses. I never really switch out lenses anyways unless I'm doing something extremely artsy. Hold on, I'm turning on to Steven Street in a second here. Just yeah, the idea is is that I'm gonna practicalize everything. Everything will be able to either fit on my body or fit in my backpack at all times. I don't have to carry around, I was carrying around like at one point, four suitcases, four suitcases to make everything happen with the vlogs and everything. I want to move the GGI, the Phantom 3 up to a Mavic as well. I don't want to get the 4, I don't want to get the Inspire, I really wanted the Inspire before, but everything for me is become more the issue. I buy this big heavy piece of, heavy piece of equip, filmmaking equipment, but I never get to use it because on every job that I need to bring it along, I end up not using it and every, every time that I figure a spur of a moment, wow this would have been great to have it on me. I don't have it on me because it's too much to carry around and use at all times. So I'm getting Steven right now. He said he's going to put on some socks and then we'll be on our way. The finalize. I have not been making films because of school. I am buying, I am selling the A6000, every single piece of filmmaking stuff that I have for it. Um, I am moving to an RX100 Mark V. I'm going to be changing gimbals from the heavy duty gimbal that I have right now, which is yes, extremely modifiable pretty jerry-rigged and programmable off its ass over to the Crane M because 
if I'm going to continue doing vlogging and if I'm going to continue doing filmmaking, I can't have it as impractical as it is, especially at a time in my life where eventually I'm going to be moving out relatively soon. I got to have everything ready to go with me at all given times for trips, for friends, for anything that come, comes along the lines. Practicalization of everything that I have, that's what I'm aiming to do, to make everything as practical as I can get it. For example, I actually only bought, I'm filming this right now on a Galaxy S7, I bought it for a few different reasons, but biggest reason is because I want to be able to have a camera in my pocket at all given times. Something that's really strong in HD for the selfie and then really good for forward facing for the standard camera. How you doing, Steven? I'm doing very good. That's good. I just got done explaining what, what I'm doing with our channel and why I haven't been making videos recently because of school and then... Um, how I was I'm... moderating another channel. I got distracted, so I wasn't ready immediately. Nice. You got quite the life, Steven. Yeah, I know. <laughs> There's Desi. B and Desi. Got it. Yeah, I got a lot of editing to do now. Alright. Autism. Alright, uh, hello. I'm a hot woman. Right. Why do you have top ramen in the back seat of your car? I I don't know. In case I'm hungry. What's going on here? Someone dying? Who'd you kill, Desi? Anyways, so this is the Galaxy S7 moved from the S5 because my S5 kept on overheating and have other random generic issues. And the camera on this is a Sony sensor. No, the the six the six still has contrast detection. This is let me flip the camera. Hey man, it's my The six is contrast detection. This is phase detection. This this is getting paid seventy three cents compared to the eight. This is essentially a Sony sensor in a phone. This is a bunch of so this makes no me happy. Cares about. I am in here to get myself an S7 life proof case. Uh, another pixel. S7 black. Yep, this is it. And then I'm gonna price match it on Amazon. It's gonna be like 50 bucks. Actually, 40 bucks. 80. Yeah, they do price match for Amazon. So we're gonna walk out with it at 40 dollars. Let's go over to the price match over there. Okay. Not what I came for. What if I the floor? You don't deserve candy. How you doing, Michael? How you doing, Victoria? Is this guy's doing good? I'm cold. Cold? cold? Yeah, I said don't open it. Why'd you open it? Don't put it in your mouth! Here's Robbie, your take mouth. it out! <laughs> Here's your... <laughs> oh, it has all the... Okay, let's do it inside. Come on. Told you. <laughs> Oh, is this a sticker? Robbie, I swear. You, you haven't even been in this vlog for like 30 seconds and you're already doing stupid stuff. right next to the other F-350. <laughs> Dually.
Okay, serious time. Michael, what do you think of me moving to the RX100 with the AC Master? You know, um, you know, Blake, the girl I was dating? Yeah, well side. When she was just like, I'm shook it, and then I... Hey, can you do me a favor? Ask Fabian if he wants to buy my gimbal. No. Can you do me a favor? Do you want to buy a gimbal? I you ask. Depends how much. <laughs> 350. How much is the camera? 700. I thought you were selling the camera for a lot cheaper. No, I'm selling the camera with like every piece of filmmaking gear that I have.